welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we are building something that's not for the save file <laughs> and I know I realize I've said before that I was solely gonna build stuff for the save file over the next couple of weeks but I just had this idea for the landscaping and I really wanted to do something with it and or build something with that idea and basically I couldn't really come up with something for the save file that would fit this kind of landscaping. So I just started building something, you know, something that's comfortable for me, something that's a little more not, you know, not modern, something I'm a little bit more comfortable with basically. So <laughs> that is what we're doing today and it is a big rustic family home. It is for two parents and technically a teen but it's a double bed so you can put two young adults in there if you want to. And also one kid and two toddlers. So it's for, I think there's room for a cat or a dog as well in there, possibly both. So it's for a total of three, five, six, seven, eight, seven to six to eight sims, I would say. <laughs> like sims including pets, basically. So it's a big house in my opinion. It's built on a 40 by 30 and it's built in Newcrest and it really does not fit in with the surroundings, but I was just having a lot of fun with the landscaping to be honest. So I didn't really think too much about it. At the start, I didn't know that it was gonna turn into something this rustic, to be honest. I just slightly went there once I placed down the, the mirrors, or not the mirrors here, the windows. I changed the color of them and I was like, yes, we're gonna make this brown and rustic and kind of craftsman a little bit, slightly not. I don't fully know what kind of stuff this is to be honest. <laughs> I was just having a lot of fun with the landscaping so. So I did show you guys on the discord server a picture of this house while it was still a work in progress and you started analyzing what exactly I did to do this kind of split level effect. It's very easy. Um, I do want to try to explain it but I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry if this turns out terribly by the way. But um, yeah, I started building the house a lot different from what I, or very differently from what I usually do when I build, because I usually start at the front and then I kind of build to the side. So the, I start in a very weird way. I don't exactly know why I do that, but I just, I just do. Um, but for this one, I put down a box on the ground with no foundation, and then I put a box on top of that. Then I cut the bottom box into half and sort of shaped the garage from the what I had left of that box. And then I just started building the rest of the house, rest of the house on um, based on the upper box. Does that make any sense? So I just built on top of that. And then I raised the ground underneath the levitating floating box basically. So it looks like this. So there's no use of foundation. There is a bottom floor that is, or the first floor, ground floor is the garage. Then you got the second floor which is the living room. There's actually also a bedroom on the second floor. Um, but yeah, and then the third floor is mostly bedrooms, like the children's bedrooms and the teens' bedrooms, so yeah. I, there is a, a total of three floors in this house, not two, but three. I know it's, it's looks, it looks a little bit funky, but it was a lot of fun to do, so. I'm not the first one to do this, by the way, I realize this, but it's the first time I am building like this, so it's fun for me. <laughs> I also want to apologize if my voice sounds a little bit rough today, I do realize that. Like, it's a little bit distracting to me, actually, because I'm really trying to control it. But this is the third longer voiceover that I'm doing today. I did the voiceover for the Christmas house as well that I released Saturday. And I'm also finishing up the CC haul for Friday. So I've been talking quite a lot today because voiceovers just take me a stupid amount of time to do because I keep messing up. <laughs> so my voice is a, is a little bit rough, but I'm completely fine. I'm not sick or anything like that. So don't worry about that. If um, if I sound like that, just I'm, I'm completely fine. I've just been talking too much because you know, it's fine. So yeah, I just want to heads up there. I uh, My voice is a little bit rough, so sorry about that. I love that we can finally build stuff like this, by the way, like split level homes like this because we got the terrain tools now. I know we've had them for over a month by now because they came out with the famous up with the get famous update which was sometime in mid-november i think so they've been out for a while but i don't think i've had the time to like probably sit down and experiment with it at all so it was fun to try out something new with this build at least but um yeah because i've been building contemporary houses or 
at least three which was in Oasis Springs <laughs> so that's a lot um, anyways so um, yeah I don't really think that terrain tools for me at least while building the contemporary houses I don't think it would have fit in in the area just like this house looks a little bit out of place for this area right now because both the lots on the left side of this house are completely flat but also the house there's an actual house on the right side of this area or on the right side of this lot you can kind of see it now and then but that's also you know completely flat there's no terrain whatsoever around that house there are some uh, there are some hills in the background here which you know kind of helps a little bit but I still feel like Compared to the house here on the right and also on the other side of the road, this house looks a little bit out of place. Like it's a little bit difficult to use terrain tools because it's difficult to find an area where the houses would fit in other than Del Sol Valley. Like it looks amazing in Del Sol Valley because the lots are so big, especially in the pinnacles because the lots are so big and you can just like go crazy, you know, because there are hills all around. You're kind of in this hill-like area anyways. Um, like I said, the lots are freaking huge, but I mean 50 by 40, that's a pretty bit big lot for me. And also 64 by 64, I'm terrified of 64 by 64. <laughs> so it's easier to kind of, you know, man manipulate terrain <laughs> in those areas. Have fun with terrain manipulation in those areas. But for the other worlds, I don't really feel like it fits in that well. And when you're trying to do like, when you're trying to make a save file and you want everything to kind of work with the area, you know, fit in and all that, it just kind of looks a little bit out of place and that doesn't really look that good to me. So personally, I don't feel like I've had a lot of chances to probably play around with terrain manipulation yet, but it's something I definitely want to play around with more. I just need to figure out how, like how can we make it fit in in the other worlds and not just still so valley. I'm sure that others pull it off just fine, but I'm just very picky when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to myself. So <laughs> it's just uh it's it's a thing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just I'm trying to figure I'm trying to figure it out and I really want to do like um a, a showcase of different kind of like different kind of tricks you can do or different kind of landscapings you can do with the terrain tools because I did show you guys this house on on the Discord server like I said before and you guys said that you wanted a tutorial but a lot of people have already done tutorials on uh, terrain manipulations like with buttons and all that stuff like what kind of buttons do you press I guess I haven't watched them but I think that's what they do um, but yeah so I want to do more like a showcase of different kinds of stuff I have done with the terrain manipulation tools and then explain to you how you do it basically so I just need a little bit more practice and try out some other things as well before I do that so it's not just you know two different scenarios that I'm showing you guys basically so yeah I want to do more stuff like that and um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to fit it in with the save file because I really want the save file done I have decided to start doing the renovations on January the 7th of January I think is that a Wednesday possibly something like that either the the, the the Wednesday or the Thursday so you're you've been warned if you like renovations that's the day if not then don't don't watch it <laughs> but um I have never done a renovation before so that's gonna be fun but I think I might start if I'm ahead of my pre-recording plans I might start doing it before I leave for Denmark we'll see if I got time I may not have because you know Christmas is a busy time uh, it's the busiest time of the year or whatever people say so there's a lot going on right now and I'm really fighting to uh, I'm really recording a lot these days I explained that in the Christmas build as well last Saturday like there's a lot going on right now I think not to be the one to sit here and complain about how long it takes to make videos but I think a lot of people are a lot of people underestimate how long it takes to actually make a video because it's not just recording then you gotta edit and you know do thumbnails and edit screenshots and do voiceovers and when when English isn't your first language you mess up a lot <laughs> so there is a lot going on right now it does take a freaking long time to make videos but uh, I'm not complaining about it by the way I just want to point that out again like I'm not sitting here complaining about it because I really truly enjoy making videos I'm having so much fun with it otherwise I wouldn't be doing it uh, trust me I I'm not the type of person to sit and uh, force herself to 
make videos just or whatever I don't really know um, but yeah it's just it take it does take a long time to do so there's quite a lot going on here right now these days but having a lot of fun so that's a good thing so back to the build I didn't fully know what to do with the backyard I am in kind of one of those phases right now where I don't really know what to do like it's just like usually I can just sit there and look at the space and think this is supposed to be here, this is supposed to be there, like just see it in front of me, but I am not in... I don't know, it's not working out for me right now. <laughs> why Why? Why did I lose that? Where did it go? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a struggle these days. I don't know what that's about. Hopefully, hopefully it'll all start making sense at some point. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I decided to put in a greenhouse and then they have a small area next to the greenhouse where there's a flower arrangement table and also the beekeeping station house whatever that's called and also a, uh, a bench there's a lot of plants in this house by the way i have really cluttered up this house so there's a lot of plants outside too there's a lot going on inside <laughs> um there's a lot of plants everywhere but i was just enjoying it i was enjoying cluttering up everything it didn't take me a long time to build this house it took me under four hours total and that's not including pauses by the way so usually a 40 by 30 would take me around five to six hours to do maybe four to five hours this took me three hours and around 45 minutes which is not a very long time so i don't know if everything just kind of worked out without problems or how wh how did how did I do that? I don't know because usually it does take me a lot longer So maybe I was just really fast at furnishing. I don't freaking know But uh, I'm kind of taking a back by it to be honest, but hopefully it still turned out like fine Hopefully I didn't forget something although it wouldn't surprise me if that's why it t took such a short time because usually It's not like it's, it happens quite often that I forget stuff like bathrooms for example happens all the time So it wouldn't surprise me if that's why it didn't take me very long although I think did, no, I did furnish everything on cam, didn't I? Except from the bathrooms. I did most of the bathrooms off cam, I'm pretty sure, because I just copy-pasted the items from one bathroom to the other. So, yeah, I don't fully know. Like, it just didn't take me a very long time for a change, which is probably nice, especially while you're pre-recording. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I still tried to make this house as good as possible, and I hope you guys really like it. So, the interior in this house is very dark. It's very rustic. There's, um... A lot of plants like I said before a lot of clutter I was just having a lot of fun with it you know kind of going back to my roots a little bit <laughs> just making everything a little bit messy because that is that's what's homey to me basically so I was having a lot of fun with that it's very different from what I've been doing lately which has mostly been uh, more traditional kind of Christmas houses or contemporary houses or like clinical contemporary houses so although I feel like the latest contemporary houses I did were a little bit less like a little bit less clinical a little bit more messy so a little bit more me basically but um, for this house I was just going back to my roots like I said and having a lot of fun with clutter putting it just about everywhere and there is furniture everywhere there are plants everywhere so if that's not really your thing maybe this house is not for you but hopefully some of you guys will like it and um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it, so I really hope that some of you at least will like it. But um, the next house, I don't fully know what I'm going to do, to be honest. I think the next house that I got planned is a base game suburban house, but I don't fully know what it's going to look like just yet. It's probably going to be something like traditional suburban because that is base game. Uh, the, all the furniture is kind of weird, traditional, and either like weird traditional or weird contemporary plastic I don't fully know I'm not a very big fan of the base game furniture but you guys already know this from either previous base game builds or just the fact that I rarely ever use anything base game I know those couches there I've been using those a lot lately they're base game right I think so because they're the kind of industrial style yeah that's base game isn't it I think so it's not good to work it's base game it must be base game but um, I don't use a lot of base game stuff very often just ignore the wallpaper here as well the wallpaper is fine also some of the floorboards are actually really really nice it's just the furniture <laughs> not a big fan of the furniture so that's gonna be a struggle for me but it's probably gonna end up being something like a super traditional kind of 
base game suburban probably something like that so that's the part of my plans other than that I don't fully know what's coming up these weeks while I'm gone yet because I still need to figure it out if I didn't say this before this is pre-recorded by the way it's currently the 19th for me so I'm a little behind um, but yeah I hope you guys had a great Christmas by the way I think that's over by now is it the 26th today I'm not entirely sure when this is coming out but Christmas is definitely over by now, so I hope you all had a, uh, a great time with your family or friends or whoever you celebrated Christmas with or just had a couple of great days if you don't celebrate Christmas as well because I know that not everybody does that, but definitely um, Merry Christmas to everyone and I hope you ate a lot of food. I hope you got some nice presents and that you're ready for New Year's, which is in less than a week. Oh my god, this year just kind of flew by. What happened? What happened? <laughs> um, so that's a bit crazy. I have a lot of plans for the chan channel here in uh, 2019. I don't know if I should go through them now or if I should do it in the mixed speed build. I don't know, but I really want to talk to you guys about it. I think I'm just going to do it in the next speed build. Yes, let's do it in the next speed build. <laughs> Not this one. So um, in here we got the parents' bedroom, by the way. It is on the ground floor, so the same floor. Well, it's the second floor technically because the garage is on the ground floor. That's a little bit confusing. But it's on the same floor as the kitchen and also the living room, the kitchen area or the dining area. Sorry about that. And I think their bathroom is the only one I'm showing you guys. It's kind of got like a funky shape, but I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way, but I think doing floor plans when you got a symmetrical house or just a square is really difficult and I had a square to deal with over here so it was either make it really long and skinny or less skinny but still really long. <laughs> so I was struggling a little bit with that and I just decided to give it a little bit of shape over there but it's such a weird such a weird shape for a bathroom i feel like but um i had a lot of fun trying to figure out how, how to fill it up like what to fill it up with so hopefully you guys like this bathroom it's a little strange but it's, it's hopefully fine <laughs> uh but yeah the rest of the bathrooms look a lot like this one i have basically just copy pasted the items and cluttered them up as well as i could they all have the same color scheme as well the same tiles and also wallpaper so hopefully you guys like um like those bathrooms i'm not entirely sure if you do but you know hopefully crossing my fingers in here we got an outdoors but indoors area i know very sophisticated <laughs> um but they have a little bit of a play area out here very um or like a hangout area i tried to put in the dark game but i just ended up not having room for it unfortunately it kind of takes up a lot of space and i'm pretty sure that you need the entire like four or five squares empty in a like in a line which is a little bit weird when you want to clutter everything there's just like this long long line of empty space I don't like it so I decided to take it out because I think you need like I think you need those four or five squares to be empty otherwise your sims does, doesn't know or don't know where to stand when they're playing dart so it doesn't really fit in that often I've only used to like once within the last year but you know it's fine <laughs> so up here we got the uh, the kids bedroom this is technically the third floor by the way because again the garage is technically on the first floor but I'm probably gonna end up talking about this floor as the second floor you've been warned because in my mind the garage isn't even a floor I also actually ended up furnishing the garage by the way um, but I did it off cam because I didn't really know what to do about it but there is a treadmill in there and there is also one of the weight lifting machines as well and then a lot of clutter it's kind of like whatever they had left over there's a guitar in there as well because i figured if one of them used to play guitar but maybe like the dad used to play guitar and then he stopped or something maybe his wife didn't want to let him play guitar anymore so he put it in the garage or something like that i just figured there would be a, gu a guitar in the garage i don't know why <laughs> so i put a guitar in there and also a uh, treadmill and one of the weightlifting machines like i said and there's some clutter surfaces what are they called clutter shelves i think from dino maybe yeah because they look pretty good in the garage but i think i don't think i included it in the footage however there should be a screenshot of it at the end of the video if you want to see that but i did try to make it playable so like it doesn't look like a proper garage but it still looks like 
they have a garage, they just don't use it for a car, kind of. Does that make any sense? Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. And here we got the, um, the teen's bedroom and it's quite cluttered again. I decided to give her, yes, it's a her, <laughs> surprise. I decided to give her the uh, pet bed, by the way. I don't know, I feel like it's just more fun to put them in the teen's rooms because it's kind of like, when I was a kid, I when I was a teen and I lived at home, we had a dog and I really wanted her to sleep in my room, so now I let, you know, now I let my sims have their pets sleep in their rooms. I don't know, I just feel like it's so cozy to have your pets sleeping next to you. So I often put them in the teen's rooms. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's, it's trust me, I do. I do it on purpose because I really want the teens to be able to sleep with the pets in their rooms. <laughs> it's not an important detail, by the way. I just, I don't know, I just remembered I did it this time around, so I just wanted to explain why, but she's got the pet bed in there, so if they have a dog or a cat or both, they can sleep in there next to the teen like she deserves. She deserves to have that pet sleeping next to her. Um, and here we got a room for the two toddlers. So they have a lot of space in there, by the way. I didn't fully know what to do with the entire space because I feel like this room is a little bit too big for toddlers. But I filled it up with a lot of toys. There's quite a lot of clutter in there as well. I just really tried to clutter up everything. I was just... After not cluttering a lot in the past couple of weeks, I just got it all out of my system, you know? <laughs> so I went a little bit crazy. I could probably have gone a little bit crazier with the clutter in this house, but I think I think it it looks so I think it looks okay. There's a fair amount of clutter, let's put it like that. And uh, yeah, they have a little cozy area in here and um, yeah, just a, a whole lot of toys in there. Very spoiled toddlers. And now we're going back to the backyard because I didn't actually furnish it before. I just kind of laid out how I wanted everything, like where I wanted everything. So the greenhouse to the right side and the uh, gazebo kind of pool house area <laughs> on the left side. And I actually put down a tent next to the gazebo. So if you're, if some of your sims want to sleep outside during the summer, they can do that. That's very cozy. I like doing that when I was a kid. I've explained this before, by the way, but I actually did that quite often during the summer until one day I found a big spider in the tent and I have never got, I never, I never went near that tent again, ever. So yeah, there you go. Um, oh, apparently I am furnishing this area on, on cam. I forgot I did, but there you go. You can see the very messy, random super random um, garage. It was quite fun to do it like that though. It's just very random and empty in there, but there's a little bit of stuff going on. So uh, yeah, there's a tent as well. And um, that's about it, I think. I think I ended up putting a grill area in the gazebo as well. So a barbecue machine and also a dining area, but that's about it. Other than that, we're just placing some of the same plants that I'm using at the front of the house, just here and there in the backyard to shape it a little bit. And that should be about it, I think. Some terrain paint at the end of the video as well. This house looks really cool from above, by the way. Uh, but I don't know about from the front or the back, but from above, it looks really cool because I don't know, it's just something with the terrain. It just kind of looks funky from above. I don't know how to explain it, but you should see that in the floor plan screenshots at the end of the video, definitely, because it just... I don't know, I was looking at it like very fascinated before. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's got something to do with the terrain tools, because as you can see on the right side right now, there are these brown stripes and they just look really funny from above. I don't know what it is, but um, I was very fascinated by that. It might just be me though. It wouldn't surprise me if I was the only one fascinated by that, but it just looked kind of, it looked kind of funny to me. But um, yeah, anyways, we are getting to the end of this video, so I'm going to wrap up this voiceover now. So I hope you like this build. You can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT, and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. If you got any suggestions for anything you want to see here on the channel in the new year, do let me know, by the way. Um, I will be doing a small update at some point because I really want to introduce some things to the channel in the new year, so that'll be coming up in a speed build, most likely, to be honest. I'll probably just talk about it in a speed build, but just um, FYI heads up there. But uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!